Hi, I'm Alan, and this is a video. Are you guys ready? Are we ready to spin the next one? Are we ready to spin the next one? Yeah. It's gonna be a little bit of a break before this one, though. Oh! Ooh! Okay! EXO? Okay! That's gonna be interesting. How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Today, we're gonna be starting EXO, which is, like, the most Aeon level of all time. Let's be real. Like, have you ever seen Aeon fail a sync part? Don't think so! Yeah, I don't- I- I don't really know what to, like, expect with this. Like, this is one of those levels that has always been on my mind as something that I should do, but I've always just kind of, like, avoided it because clearly I'm a goddamn percussionist. I know how to- I, yeah, I can't even try to be in sync. I have zero sense of rhythm, so it's gonna be interesting. But we're gonna hop into it. We're gonna chill, have a good time, see what happens, and hopefully things go fine, I guess. First half heavy, that's all you need to expect. Yeah, I've heard it's first, like, I, I know the 3% dash orb is, like, the funniest thing of all time. Oh my god, I did 92 to 100. Isn't that crazy? Okay. I'm, I'm insane. I'm actually a god, dude. Pff, I, Aeon doesn't have a sense of rhythm. Pff, no, I'm actually god of ever. I've heard though that this level is like very, uh, like the sync parts are off sync, right? So maybe I actually have a superpower here because my sense of rhythm is like slightly off. So I think I'm on sync, but I'm really not. And therefore the part is easier. <laughs> I don't think that's where I'm supposed to be going. I'm not gonna lie. That LDM or something? No, this is just the level. <laughs> this is just how the level looks. This has to be the first person I've ever seen ever in the history of human geometry dash kind that doesn't know what Exo by Karma L is. <laughs> that's a farty ass click. I, I, I'm i genuinely wondering how many times I'll have to explain why I died to the sync parts because people are just like, oh, you can just buffer them, right? And then you can't. And then they're like, what? Oh, I'm so cracked. Six days to 100. Oh, Holy wow. moly. What a, what a, what a waddle. What a proper waddle that was. Oh my god. To be fair though, I do think this level's decoration fits with the song very well. Like, I feel like this could not, this, this, this song just doesn't fit with a glow level. Was that one insane demon that uses this song? That's just like a reg very, very butt standard design level. Like, just a glow design level. What's that level called? Because that level does not do, do this song justice. Like, I think this, I, I think this song is built for this kind of decoration. It's an insane demon. This one! Affine! I got 73 on this in like 30 minutes and then gave up on it. I don't know why. This level is so random. Like, the, the, you, this does not do this EXO song justice at all. Why is this jump so hard? Like, this just looks wrong, bro. It doesn't look right. You know what? Screw it. Let's just try, right? Let's just try. Why, why not? What do I have to lose? Zero time. Actually, I'm curious. How many attempts did it take me to learn the level, like, roughly? 1400? That's like nothing. See, I'm still a firm believer that we might see 2.2 for the anniversary. I'm a, I, I'm an anniversary believer. I'm a firm anniversary believer, which kind of sucks because I'm going to, I'm going to a wedding on the 12th and the anniversary is the 13th. Would that be lame? Why would that be lame? That's like the, the, the most insane timing of all time. I feel like the anniversary is like the perfect underdrop because it's a 10 year anniversary. I and mean, in what universe is that lame? Dude. <laughs> I understand the meme with this orb now. How many GD players do you think share the same birthday and the same birth year? How many ten, how many how many nine year olds do you think is born on August 13th? 23? 13. Sorry, my bad. There are no 10 year olds born in 2023 yet. That play GD specifically. There has to be at least one person in the world that plays GD that's born on the same day GD was launched. I refuse to believe otherwise. When I told Car Carmel that I was going for this, he even he said, have fun with the three percent dash orb, bro. 15! Crazy. 22? Crazy. My Bradley, bro. I don't know why I randomly started saying my Brad instead of my bad. Like, it's usually like a random phrase that I have no, like, I have no source or why I started saying it. It's like a random thing that I just randomly started saying. Now I just say my Brad or my Bradley all the time, and I don't know why. Like, I cannot give you a source of where I heard it. It's just a thing that I just started saying, and I don't know why. Like, why? If you could change the spelling of any word, what word would you change? 
to what? I don't know what exactly I would change it to, but thorough. Thorough is one of those words that I never spell correctly for some reason. It's like the final boss of all the T-H-O-U words. And it's just one of those words that for some reason my brain can just never spell correctly. Kernel? No, Kernel is a funny one. I don't mind Kernel. Kernel is funny because Kernel is so goofy to the point where it's like you remember how to spell it because of how stupid it is. Because the thing about Thorough is that Thorough is spelled though rough. And though rough means makes absolutely no sense. Like why is it spelled though rough? Though rough. I love it. Thorough shit word. Now I like the word Q. I saw someone mention Q earlier. But the problem with Q is that a visual Q is not spelled the same word as like a line Q, right? They're not, sp they're, they're ex pronounced the exact same way, but they're not spelled the same way. And I think that's annoying. Just pick one, pick one and stick with it. The worst one of those, they're said the same way but there are two different words. Segway. Segway. Oh my god. I hate the people who made segways as in the roly motherfucker. A segway into a thing and not like the, the wheel thing is spelled S- E G U E Segway. And it's so annoying. The word segue, as in a segue into a different topic, topic is not spelled segway. It's segue. It's awful. I learned that when I was like 22, bro. Because I, I I was tr trying to write something and I was using Google Docs and I wrote the word segue as to like segue. And I was like, why is my spell checker going off? Why is this not working? And then I tried to correct it and it was like segue. And I was like, why does it say segue? Segue sounds really goofy. So I tried to Google it because obviously if I don't understand why the hell it's spelled that way, I Google it because I'm like, oh, it's probably a British thing. But it's not a British thing. Segue as in segue is just a British brand that makes segways and segway the word is a completely different thing see the thing about the thing about baloney though is that that's just the bastardization of the word itself because it's not pronounced that in italian like it makes complete sense if you use the actual origin of the word which is italian i don't mind that spelling whatsoever because it's an italian word for an italian food that americans have just butchered because that's not how you're actually supposed to pronounce it because it's it's normally it's supposed to be bologna which makes sense because that's just how it's said in fuck italian that's that's just Americans butchering the name of a different language. I mean, are we surprised when we were thinking about the country that has like 20 cities named Vienna, but none of them are pronounced Vienna? Did you know there's a place in the United States named Vienna, as in the Austrian capital Vienna, spelled V-I-E-N-N-A, -N -N Vienna? You want to know how it's pronounced? Vienna, the the worst thing of all time. Are we really gonna Are we really gonna trust the Americans with pronunciate with the pronunciation of Bologna? They say baloney, bro. You can't you can't be mad about the spelling Bologna when they can't even say it correctly. Like I feel like that's unfair. Colonel, I get the anger for. Colonel makes sense that you're pissed off because Colonel is a gross ass word. Don't come at the Italians for Bologna when the Americans call it baloney. That's their fault. Did not know that until now. Damn. The GN in Italian is like an NY sound. Like GN in Italian is like a nya sound. I did not just say that out loud. <laughs> No! God, I hate myself. Oh, <laughs> this is depressing. <laughs> you get what I mean, though, okay? You understand what I'm talking about. You understand where I'm coming from. That's the, it's the same reason why you say lasagna, right? You don't say lasagna. If you say, if you say, if you pronounce lasagna the same way you would pronounce bologna, it would be lasagna, which sounds even worse. God, that sounds awful. Like, I don't know why they decided to bastardize bologna of all words because there's so many there's so many italian words that just aren't bastardized whatsoever like you don't ba you have they haven't bastardized pizza pizza is just pronounced pizza in italian right pizza if you want a singular pizza is plural fun fact lasagna <laughs> bologna and lasagna that's funny it's the same with lasagna lasagna is also plural it's lasagna like the a at the end of lasagna is plural it's supposed to be an e at the end not an a i might be getting them wrong by the way i haven't taken italian i, I took italian class for like a year like six years ago i might be wrong but i'm pretty sure i'm right pretty sure <laughs> can you use that to like wait <laughs> 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 that actually works? Why? Why does that work? <laughs> Yay, I died to... 
I did actually sprain it. Yeah, why would I lie about that? That's a random thing to lie about. I, I find it so funny when people just assume that a thing that you do is just a lie. Like, why would I lie about it? Like, some things, yeah, sure, I lie about, like, oh, lying about, like, completing stuff. But, like, the other day, I was watching Zeronian stream, and I said, oh, I have to go, I have to go do the dishes because we had, I had dinner like an hour earlier and I was too lazy to do it before that. And then this one kid was like, I really hope, I really want to believe that Aeon just went and did the, the dishes at 11 PM. And I was sitting there like, who on earth would lie about doing the dishes of all things? Like that's like the most mundane shit ever. Like who lies about doing the dishes? Like, oh, I have to go do the dishes. Are you sure? No, sorry. I lied. I'm actually going to go fuck bitches now. My bad. Like no one lies about doing the damn dishes. So I was just sitting there like for 10 minutes. Like, this kid would repeat the same message, like, 10 times. I think he sent it, like, legitimately 10 times in Zeronian's chat. I, I want to believe Aeon just went and did his dishes at 11pm. I just sat there like, we get it, but, like, again, why would I lie about it? I died to that? Of all the things I could die to, it's that? That's such a cringe death. Well... That was a really silly death, but at least I got somewhere, right? Is the guy from Aeon Air Space Battle? Yep, that's me. Dude, did you guys know that Aeon Air Space Battle by Awesome Me 360 was so good that they made Aeon Air into a real thing? I know that's crazy, but like, it's true. Ah, oh, I knew I was gonna die to that, dude. I feel like it's so hard. I'm fine with that. That's okay. Cool beans. 58% smile. Having a meet and greet is such an ego thing to do when you're a small creator. Because that implies that people would actually like go to visit me and see me. Like unless it's like unless it's a convention that I'm going to where I know a lot of people are going. Having a meet and greet just is the most ego thing of all time. Like if it's a, if it's a convention that people are going to anyway, then yeah, sure, whatever. I'm not near big enough as a content creator to where I could actually have like a proper meet and greet. And not gonna lie. Me as a 23 year old asking for a meetup with a bunch of people who was probably younger than 12 years old. That's not a very good look, especially if there's like 10 of them, right? Like I get it if there's like a thousand people outside my hotel room, like that one. Uh, was it Logan or Jake Paul that had that guy shot in the back of the head while a thousand kids were standing outside? Uh, anyway, that's besides the point. Like I would maybe get it if it were like a thousand people, but like we're not having a kids meetup, okay? <laughs> Shut up. Can't just drop that and not explain. Hold up. Uh, Jake all gets shot yeah yeah, yeah it's this one <laughs> they caught they got to it in two seconds hello there was a bunch of kids standing outside his hotel room he wasn't actually shot obviously but that was like i remember when this happened a few years ago it was like the wildest thing ever because it was like at the height of prank youtube it's such a tone deaf prank because everyone that was standing outside was literally 10 years old did, did you guys not catch that were you not there when it happened i remember vividly that happening everyone everyone was talking about it like that was like scarce prime time hours dude the worst part is that they had like an interview with the kids afterwards and they were like ah oh, it was kind of it was kind of scary but that was kind of sick bro that is like one of the few things I know Logan Paul for. Like, that's what put Logan Paul on my radar. I died to that! Oh my god, that's such a choke. That's such a choke. What? That was so close. Yeah, that's so close.
Oh my god, I can't react too much, otherwise I'll cough too much. <laughs> Dude, I can't even- I, I can't even do like an outro, cause like, the whole I can't react cause I'm gonna cough is real. Look, listen to my voice. I, I, I legitimately can't speak. Like, this is not me sounding sad. This is just my voice. <laughs> like, I'm actually dead. I, I, I coughed too much. I'm actually straight dying. I'm so glad I didn't die past 60 today. I'm so glad I didn't die past 60 today. But hey, we beat it. Nice, right? I think, okay, so... I think this is a good level that is entirely ruined by like two things. For me, this was naturally very hard because I'm very bad at sync. Like I just do not have a rhythm. Like my sense of rhythm is absolutely nothing. So I just had to like get really lucky with the sync parts. But the only two things that really ruin this is 3% and 13%. Those two inputs are so awful to the point where it's like actually unreal how annoying it is. Basically every single attempt, you die to 3%. If you pass 3%, you die to 13. If you pass 13, you might as well just beat the level. You legitimately get far when you're past 13% on the level, which is so dumb. Silentium Clavas. Okay, so uh, someone say a number. Just say a number and we're gonna shuffle. Four, one, two, three, four. Bam. 4,728. We're not doing that, that's for sure. I thought we were gonna get Citra, bro. I thought we were gonna get Citra. I was scared. I was genuinely scared. <laughs> Devil Vortex it is. I'm fine with that. Devil Vortex is gonna be funny. 